Hey, what's going on everyone? And uh, today we'll be just taking a look at a quick fix uh, for a old classic pastime. That's right, uh, for those of you who may uh, still uh, like to kind of experience the blast from the past, um, uh, sometimes I, I call it when games actually used to be good and care and love went, in, went into making them. Uh, but everybody's opinion, of course, varies. But uh, that's not important today. What's important is, you know, the new operating systems just don't like fear. Um, and that's one of the games we'll be talking about today. I did kind of scour the web for some fixes. Um, some of them in, uh, by Fat Slice, I believe, on Steam forums and involved about disabling HID. And, you know, who wants to get away with their Logitech keyboards? But honestly, even that didn't work for me. I could not find a good solution to fix a frame rate drop issue. Um, I know my computer can handle it just fine because, of course, I'm running a 980 Ti, so I don't think that should be a problem. Fear was released, if you all recall, in 2003 on Windows XP. Running it in compatibility mode, of course, still does not quite solve the problem. So, if this sounds anything like you, and you want to kind of relive that blast from the past, here's a solution that worked for me, and after some testing, I have yet to drop any frames. It's been beautiful, amazing, and right now I'm running on Windows 10. I am almost really positive to run on Windows 8 and 7, of course Vista, if you're still rocking that. But, uh, let's get going. So, if you look in the video description, I went ahead and attached a zip file uh, that will contain this file right here. And this file, is it's just a DLL file. There's uh, uh, nothing, of course, uh, dangerous about it. Um, I found it. I've tested it myself. Um, you know, you can uh, do a scan on it. Absolutely nothing dangerous about the file. So if that's your concern, please don't be. I will go ahead and host it on the server, um, on my private server for you, um, as some of the fixes out there still do run into a 404 error page. So uh, while that scan is running, of course, again, there shouldn't be any sort of problems with this file. Um, let's go ahead and show you what you got to do. Really easy and simple. So you just go to your Steam library, or even if you just have the game installed, um, if you just buy, have the actual disk, and as you can see, the file is clean, so there's nothing wrong with it. Um, so if you have the disk and you have it installed retail, that's fine. The same concept applies. You need to access your game's directory. So if you have Steam, all you have to do is right-click on your game, go to Properties, and uh, we're going to navigate to Local Files, and then just select the Browse Local Files folder. This is your game install directory. Um, the way you'll know is you'll see the fear executable, and this is also applies to if you just have the standard installed disk. Uh, C program files, um, Sierra, whoever it used to be back in the day, I don't even know, because I lost my retail disk, so I have it on Steam. Once you access your game directory, let's go ahead and just minimize this. And we'll just close out of this. And that, of course. Just take this file that you've downloaded from the zip folder, extract it to your desktop or wherever you might like, and simply copy and paste it into the Steam, or I'm sorry, into the game directory. Now, since I already have it in there, it's asking me to replace it. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and bother, but the file is already in there. And that's it. That's all you have to do. And then you can just simply run the game. Now, if you want to be safe, you could go ahead and right click on the fear icon, go to compatibility and, and uh, run in compatibility mode with the Windows XP. However, I don't think that will really solve, uh, since it didn't solve the ultimate framing issue, I don't think it matters. I just have it just in case. And uh, all you got to do is simply launch your game normally. Now, you can also do the same thing with extraction points. So uh, if you just do this, basically a rinse and repeat process, you access your extraction point directory. However, it's already within the same directory, I believe. So it does appear to be so. So actually, this uh, fix, if you have it on Steam, works for both games. Uh, also, Perseus Mandate is a standalone expansion, so you will have to add the file uh, manually. However, uh, with Steam, it looks like all three of these aren't within the same directory. 
And uh, Fear 2, of course, Project Origin was developed later, so this fix does not affect Fear 2. So uh, at the end of the day, that's all you gotta do. Just launch the game and you are all set. So, um... To ID without lab work. That can't be him. His life signs are a little unusual, but he's definitely alive. He's gotta be around there somewhere. I'll keep looking. If there's any other uh, suggestions or comments you guys want to see or any fixes, uh, definitely let me know in the comments below and we'll see what we can do to find a solution for you. I hope this video helped out for those of you who want to experience a blast from the past and finally get to play that uh, fear that's been sitting in your library for the past three years. Anyway, this is Mike Unified signing off.